and welcome back to our manifesto success series and we are on chapter 2 and series 4 um, this is our fourth section and we, we are going to talk about the courage and if you haven't been listening our previous episode I would request you to go back and hear that uh, that will give you the context so we are going to start on the courage I'm your host Priya Mishra and courage is the ability to proceed with our lives despite facing all our fears how is your courage playing with you? It takes daily acts of courage to move on. Despite what life throws at us, every day courage gives you ability to put aside the fear of failures and take the first step. Courage helps you overcome, overcome the fear of rejection and engage your stakeholders. What do you think? Where your courage is stand? How you are playing with your courage and how you are actually leveraging your courage to your benefit. Would like to hear. Whatever you do, you need courage. Whatever courage you decide upon, there is always someone to tell you are wrong. There are so many judgmental people out there. But where you stand, the courage is actually very much defined if you are going against too many odds. There are always difficulties arising which tempts you to believe that your critics are right. To map out a code of action and follow it and an end requires some of the some same courage which is shows us needs. Peace has its victorious, but it takes brave men to win them, says American he says philosopher and poet Ralph Waldo Emerson. According to you, what is courage? Dutch courage means not being scared. No wonder contrary courage has to do with the people who can get on and do something even enough though you are scared. You all have fears. We all have. I have fears. We all try to overcome with that. We all have things that make us so scared. Our knees are shaking and we probably feel like we want to quickly run up to the you know, bathroom. Some people deal with courage differently. Some people deal with their fear differently. But the thing is that the people with courage have learned to take the fear, put it into the pocket and pass it to them and, and get on with that what they need to get on. To get the victory, you have to cross that barrier. And they can worry about whether it is not uh, or not it might have faith afterwards. As you know, fears are mostly psychological. They are therefore not real. You can choose to focus on the fear on you. You can choose to focus on a picture of success. I mean, a lot of time your fear actually derived by the heard story. By your parents, by your sibling or your best friend. You don't know what is driving your fear. But our job is to actually dealt with it. If you choose to focus on the fear, you are more likely to fail. You will find it hard to move confidential, confidentially in the direction of your dream. Buddha once said, what do you think you become? On the other hand, if you choose to focus on positive thoughts, you are more likely to be successful. You need to find the courage. You need to do what you need to do despite of all the overwhelming things around you and make you feel like you are going to fall down. Courage is about getting on with something despite all the fears going on around you. Courageous leaders take this step, go against the gain of their organization. They make decisions with the potential for revolutionary changes in their market, their boldness. Despite their tense in energizing customers and positioning their companies as leader in society change. I have a dream today. I have dreamed that my poor little dream will one day live in a native where they will not be judged by the color of their skin but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. Martin Luther King Jr. Character has come in front from the court. Was the poor cousin of a clinical psychologist of behavioral studies, character is once again recognized as a critical important component of personality and therefore what, what makes people tick. It's important to leadership is considerable. 
transformational leaders with character have courage passion wisdom competency and self discipline in their leadership read the, the portrait story from a business perspective courage is having a strong conviction about one's own strategic objective and being prepared to harness the mind and resources of achieving those objectives there are no second phase getter in the approach to business courage is not confined by fear of the unknown and thrives in the problem and promises of dynamic environment managerial courage includes the willingness to do what is right in the face of risk with risk there is a probability possibility of failures or loss and no guarantee that everything will turn out fine acting with courage may result in unpleasant experience yet it is a fundamental ingredient of leadership corporate courage manifests itself in many ways general electric ge requires law firms and its panel to compete the project and uh, you know through online ebay style auction which faces competing bid to financial bottom line that allows for comp- comparability across all contenders who are prom- promoting their wares this innovative and courageous approach cooks co- um, the best out of the competitors from this perspective courage is immediate and localized sometimes you have to be instant spontaneous to react and act as if you have a life threat and your body is already trained for that if you have something life threatening before you think your body already reacted so if you will train yourself how you can actually be a good risk taker and respond in spontaneous that's gonna change a lot as a business owner for you to achieve the success you want to achieve. Michael Peliso, the chief executive of Travelocity, a US travel company, exemplifies courage. He knows that being innovative requires risk and facing the possibility of failure. Peliso proposed an innovative business model which she believes would assist Travelocity regain crown lost of the company's key competitor. You need to work on the business model to achieve philosophy believes that our business model was compatible compatible with the company's philosophy of doing things differently and having a long term view is very important at the core reality we always innovate with, you know we, uh, we come up with a new idea come up with a new methodology and framework to service the best and offer the value add we take risk we so did not yield to these pressures instead we we need to we all need to work and influence in our investor our stakeholders the people who are surrounded by us we also mentor 20 you know five exceptional people around us so that we can actually achieve what we want to achieve so some other example of courageous leaders whose action transforms their companies alan millerly and millerly arrived at port who found a uh, you know depleted organization losing 18 billion that year and unwilling to address its fundamental issue to retool port's entire product line and automate its factory manually borrowed 23.5 billion convincing the port family to pledge its stock and the famous port blue oval has collateral his blood move paid, paid off unlike its detroit competitor port avoided bankruptcy regain market share and return to the profitability taking a risk is important mary bara in gm ceo since 2014 demonstrated that a different courage can make immediately after her appointment she testified before a hostile senate investigating committee about the death from the failed ignite switches and shower cameras rather than make excuses but i took responsibility for the problems and went further to attribute them to gm culture problems Three years later, she is well on her way to transforming GM's moribund finance-driven culture into a dynamic, accountable organization focused on building quality value worldwide. From the above example, as we all understand, that courage therefore works with vision to make any dream or ideas come into reality. Thus, achievements are recorded. We often hear this: leadership has no vision, or the leadership lacks courage to provide the needed leadership. and if you do so if you don't have a vision you don't have a leadership you cannot fail so you need to actually practice 
on those courage on your vision on your characteristics of leadership many marketers don't have the clarity and conviction of following a dream and their goals without certainty they fall to the status quo turn everything you do into an expression of your desire for justing and it can create something special this make courage to actively passionate and brand means you have a stand up for things only then you are the truly on your way to owning your very own position in the mind of your customer in our management consulting firm we take all that courage active steps we are not hesitant to value add to our customer and that value add is actually always paying off when you are transparent when you are solving the problem they are facing in the day to day you are hearing your customer whenever they need you you are available you know those those are the very important you know great ingredient for you to success as a management consulting firm but this has been be helping for us our availability our communication level are working on our communication level giving the high value and giving them the importance we are helping them like a guide not like trying to be extraordinary hero we are not hero and we don't want to be right there was one time i heard a saying that you know uh, don't try to become a god the position has been already taken but you can be a helper you can be a guide you can be a supporter of the vision your leaders and your customers are bringing on the table and work along with that that's the mantra we live for Time to embrace your mask mindset. Unlock your essence to engage and because of passion. Embrace your Mandela courage and Gandhi's spirit. Be more curious. Be more intuitive. Be more human. Ask more questions. Don't be afraid to have audacious ideas to challenge the old models of success and turn further ambition into a practical, profitable reality. That's it for today. That's all I can say. So if you have been not liking or sharing and commenting on our posts um our manifest your success series would like to you to request and don't forget to leave your comment what did you think how did you harness your own courage i would love to hear from you don't forget to leave your precious comment here thank you so much